Almost everyone enjoys a rich, delicious meal, but sufferers of GERD know they'll pay the price later. GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease, a condition in which acidic contents from the stomach go up into the esophagus, causing pain or discomfort. Dr. Kimberly Kolkhorst is the chair of the gastroenterology department at Essentia Health in Fargo. She says patients with GERD might complain about a feeling of food stuck in their throat, difficulty swallowing, throat clearing, nausea, or pain in the arm or jaw. The main symptom people usually complain of is a true heartburn, where it's a burning sensation that they feel that goes up the chest, usually postprandially, meaning after they've eaten, and sometimes these symptoms can actually awaken them at night, too. Dr. Kolkhorst says GERD can run in families, and obesity can be a contributing factor. The culprit is a muscle at the bottom of the esophagus, which is supposed to tighten in between meals, but somehow gets relaxed, allowing the acid to bubble up. Well, there's different things that relax that lower esophagus sphincter. Um, some of them is food triggers. So um, the f I always say the five good things in life. So chocolate, caffeine, tobacco, alcohol, and peppermint. Dr. Kolkhorst says avoiding those things and losing weight, not wearing tight-fitting garments, and not lying down immediately after eating are the first lines of defense against GERD. She also recommends trying over-the-counter medications, such as H2 blockers or PPIs. If that still doesn't work, doctors can perform an endoscopy to detect signs of reflux damage. There's also a test called a Bravo or pH study, and there's, um, we can actually pin a little device at the bottom of the esophagus and that measures your pH and that's the true measure of acid. Because GERD can manifest with chest pain, Dr. Kokor says it's important to rule out heart symptoms first, so don't hesitate getting checked out by a doctor. With this Essentia Health Medical Insight, I'm Tracy Briggs.